watch and learn with Mam CJ. What is physical fitness? According to Andin, physical fitness is the ability to perform one's tasks efficiently without undue fatigue but with extra reserve in case of emergency. Physical fitness is a state of health and well being and, more specifically, the ability to perform aspects of sports, occupations, and daily activities. Physical fitness is generally achieved through proper nutrition, moderate vigorous physical exercise, and sufficient rest. Component of physical fitness is divided into two. The skill-related fitness or SRF, and the health-related fitness or HRF. Health-related fitness involves exercise activities that you do in order to try to improve your physical health and stay healthy, particularly in the categories of cardiovascular endurance, muscular strength, flexibility, muscular endurance, and body composition. Skill-related fitness is the ability to do well in everyday life activities and sports. There are six skill-related fitness components. Speed, agility, coordination, balance, reaction time, and power. Skilled athletes typically excel in all six areas. Body composition, cardiovascular endurance, muscular endurance, strength, power, flexibility, agility, balance, speed. Coordination. Reaction time. Are the components of physical fitness. Body composition is the ratio of muscle of fat in the body. It is a method of breaking down the body into its core components fat, protein, minerals, and body water. Body composition analysis can accurately show changes in fat mass, muscle mass, and body fat percentage. Having a high percentage of body fat compared to lean muscle has shown to increase risk of heart disease, cancers, strokes, and diabetes. A healthy balance between fat and muscle is vital for health and wellness throughout life. Scientific evidence shows that a healthy body composition will increase your lifespan, reduce the risk of heart disease, cancer, diabetes, insulin resistance, increase energy levels, and improve self-esteem. Cardiovascular endurance refers to the soundness of the heart and the lungs which contribute to the ability to resist diseases. It is how efficiently your heart, blood vessels, and lungs to supply oxygen-rich blood to working muscles during physical activity. Running a marathon is a great example of cardiovascular endurance. Swimming and bicycling also improve cardiorespiratory endurance. Cardiovascular endurance activity keeps your heart, lungs, and circulatory system healthy and improves your overall fitness. As a result, people who get the recommended regular physical activity can reduce the risk of many diseases such as diabetes, heart disease, and stroke. Muscular endurance is the capacity to bear or last long in a certain task without undue fatigue. It is one of the components of muscular fitness, along with muscular strength and power. A long-distance cycling race is a good example of muscular endurance. Another muscular endurance exercises are Plank, body weight squats, walking lunges, push-ups, and sit-ups. The ability of the muscles to release maximum force in the shortest period of time is called strength. The shot put in track and field is a good example of strength, power, and coordination. Exercises for improving muscular strength include push-ups, weight lifting heavy weight with few repetitions, and pull-ups. The walking lunge is also a great way to improve muscular strength, balance, and coordination. Power is the ability to use muscle strength quickly. It is a combination of strength and speed for a movement to be explosive. Power training typically involves exercises which apply the maximum amount of force as fast as possible, on the basis that strength plus speed equals power. 
Jumping with weights or throwing weights are two examples of power training exercises. The long jump in track and field is a great example of power, speed, and coordination. Flexibility is the quality of plasticity which gives the ability to do a wide range of movement. The range of motion will be influenced by the mobility of the soft tissues that surround the joint. Flexibility is important for completing everyday activities with ease. The most common test for flexibility is the sit and reach test. Increased flexibility can improve aerobic fitness training, muscular strength and endurance, and sport-specific training. The ability of the individual to change direction or position in space with quickness and lightness of movement is called agility. It requires quick reflexes, coordination, balance, speed, and correct response to the changing situation. Agility enables one to move quickly and easily which is very important in actual game situation. It helps performance in activities that require you to change direction quickly whilst keeping balance, strength, speed, and body control. This football player is showing great agility running around defenders. Agility training consists of two important factors. Body awareness is recognizing what the body feels in certain situations during play. Muscle memory is a product of repetitive skill training. Balance is a state of equilibrium or stability. Movement is essential to perform any daily activity. Your ability to move efficiently requires control of the body's postural alignment. In other words, you need strong balance to move efficiently. One leg deadlift to improve balance and strength. Another way is to walk in a line, heel to toe, for a short distance. You can also try Tai Chi a form of movement training that may improve balance and stability and reduce the incidence of falls. This gymnast on the balance beam is an excellent example of balance, power, strength, coordination, agility, and flexibility. Training for balance means one must develop the core strength. Core composed of your abdominal areas, lower back, buttocks, and groin. There are three factors that affect balance. 1. Eyes. 2. Ears. 3. Nervous system. The two classifications of balance are static balance and dynamic balance. Static balance this type is needed when a person is not moving. Dynamic balance this is needed while a person is moving. Coordination makes movements work together smoothly. This usually consists of upper and lower body movements being performed at the same time with control. A baseball pitcher throwing a pitch is a great example of coordination, power, balance, and speed. Hitting and catching sports requires great levels of hand-eye coordination. Speed is the ability to make successive movements of the same kind in the shortest period of time. It is the rate in which player can complete execute a locomotor movement like running. Running with a small parachute on is a great way to increase one's speed. Speed training puts your muscles through a fuller range of motion, improving flexibility. It trains more muscles, leading to better muscle balance. And it incorporates exercises that directly strengthen injury-prone muscles. There are two ways on how to effectively and safely develop speed. First is the uphill running, this trains the athlete's hip flexion and extension which are important in improving leg stride. And the downhill running, trains the leg muscles coordination and the race in which the leg strides. Reaction time is how quickly an individual responds to stimuli. It is important in many sports and day-to-day -day activities, though it is not often measured. Simple reaction time is the time taken between a stimulus and movement. Unlike reflexes, which aren't processed by the brain, reaction time can be strengthened and improved through lifestyle changes. Cognitive exercises, meditation, and mindfulness and nutritional supplements are all factors that can boost reaction time in a safe and healthy way. It is important to be physically fit. 
Here are some benefits of physical fitness. It strengthens the heart. It helps keep arteries and veins clear. It strengthens the lungs. It reduces blood sugar levels. It controls weight. It strengthens bones. It helps prevent cancer. And it regulates blood pressure. Watch and learn with Mam CJ.